Hello and welcome back to Biker Stuff. Today I'm going to tell you the way to get a motorcycle license in the UK. This is chapter two in which I will talk about taking your theory test, module one and module two, to allow you to get your motorcycle license. Let me start by showing you what licenses there are for riding a motorbike. AM allows anyone over 16 to ride up to 50 cc's. A1 is for 17 years and over to ride up to 125 cc. A2 is next. You have to be at least 19 years to be able to ride a motorbike up to 35 kilowatts. Then the big one, the A licence for, is for anyone over 24, when you can ride any engine size on any bike. Although you can get the A licence at 21 if you progress through your licences, but I will cover this in the licence category video. As it says in the title, this chapter is about taking the three-part test. That includes the theory, module or mod one, and module or mod two tests. The big warning I need to give you is this. From the day you pass your theory test, you have two years to complete mod one and mod two. You will also need a valid CBT to take Mod 1 and Mod 2, but not when you take the theory. However, like the theory, Mod 1 only lasts for two years, so keep this in mind. Let me start the theory test. You can buy books on this that will tell you all the questions and the answers, so buy one and learn it cover to cover. They cost between three and 14 pounds, depending if you buy a new or a used one. If you buy a used one, make sure it is the latest version. To take the test, you will go to a local test center that you will find online. I'll put a link in the description below. You will have 57 minutes to correctly answer 43 questions out of 50. Then you will have a further 15 minutes to identify 15 hazards from 14 short videos. Yes, <laughs> one, video, one video has two hazards in it. You need to get 44 points from the 75 available on this part. The theory test is currently £23. Next you take an off-road test that is called Mod 1. This is a bit like the off-road training you did on your CBT, except with someone holding a clipboard ticking boxes. This is probably the toughest of the three parts of the test. You will need to take with you your provisional license, your CBT, theory pass certificate and your bike, of course. <laughs> the test consists of wheeling your motorbike, demonstrating the use of the stand, riding a slalom and a figure of eight. You then have a slow speed ride and a U-turn, cornering and a controlled stop, cornering and an emergency stop, then cornering and a hazard avoidance. <laughs> These last two are taken at 31 miles per hour on your motorbike, although the official training diagram says 32 miles per hour. I would recommend practicing your slow speed riding before you take this test, as this will help with all of the riding parts of it. 
With good slow speed control, you can master everything else. The whole thing should take you about 20 minutes, and it currently costs £15.50. I will leave a link to this diagram in the description below for you to download. Can I ask if you are new here and like what I do, please consider subscribing by clicking on my face down there. Then ring my bell so that you will get notifications when there is more to see from biker stuff. Finally, you need to take your Mod 2, which is the on-road part of the test. It's a bit like the CBT, where you will have an earpiece in to listen to instructions from the examiner. The ride will be for about three quarters of an hour. You can take this part straight after your Mod 1, provided you have booked it. But if you fail Mod 1, you have to wait three working days before you can retake it and before you can move on to Mod 2. You will need to take with you your provisional licence, your CBT, Theory Pass Certificate, your Mod 1 Pass Certificate and, of course, your bike. <laughs> you will start with a 20 metre eyesight test on a registration plate. If you fail this, the test goes no further. Get some glasses and rebook. They ask you two questions called show me, tell me questions. They will be bike related and will expect you to show and tell how something works and where something is. I'll leave a link to the questions in the description below. You will go out for a ride with the examiner following you and giving you guidance by radio in normal traffic conditions, but not on a motorway. You will be expected to do normal controlled stops, angled starts, which is pulling out from behind a car, and hill starts where possible. Although I expect the examiner will have a suitable hill planned for you. After that, you have a 10 minute free ride where you will be assessed on your ability to ride making your own decisions. If you forget where you are going, ask the examiner. You will not fail for this. Also, you will not fail if you go the wrong way, but you cannot use a sat nav. If you fail this part, you have to rebook a date at least 10 working days after this one and pay again. This part is currently £75. Great! <laughs> you now have your licence, so throw those L plates away! To subscribe, just click here. Then, choose one of these to see more. Well, go on, press one.